Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello. Welcome. Okay, let's get started this evening. Well, okay, what we did last class. Okay, last class we finished talking about the passive without by. Passive and simple present. We learned that the structure for this form is with the uh, with the verb be and the past participle of the main verb. Cases, these examples. The gen is used in Japan. Both Spanish and Portuguese are spoken in Latin America. A lot of coffee is grown in Brazil. And that is the structure for this passive present, the verb be present, and the past participle of the main verb sentence. So if we work these exercises. French and English are spoken. That. English is taught in an elementary school. A great deal of wheat is grown. Yeah. Both cars and computers are manufactured in South Korea. Mexico is made up of 31 states and a federal district. Kimonos are sometimes worn in Japan. That is the currency that is used in a lot of beef is eaten in Argentina. Okay. So at the end, you were writing some sentences about El Salvador. And that was the last activity we did on Thursday. Now we have here some questions about different countries, different places. Let's see, let me read them first for you. Where is Ecuador located? What languages are spoken in Singapore? Where is most of the world's wheat produced? How many countries can you name where English is spoken as a second language? Can you name four countries where French is spoken? Can you name three countries that are governed by a prime minister? Oh. So interesting questions. And after these questions, you have to write three more world knowledge questions like the ones in A. So the idea is that you add three more questions here, similar to these ones. 
about different countries, about different places, about different things. Okay? So first I will send you to working groups to respond to these questions. So you can do your research, internet, to respond to these six questions. And then you have to create three more questions similar to this. Okay. Okay. Let me. Okay. Let's form the groups. Okay. Okay, join your groups, please, and work on that. I'm sorry, Jorge, read the name. Okay, people, Chrysia and Vanessa, your classmates are waiting for you.
Hey people, I already sent you an invitation to join a group. We are working in groups right now. In activity 10. Hello, people. Hello. Hello. 
Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Here, answer the question. <laughs> um, Did you finish? Did you finish already? Um, no, we are in the number three. Okay. Yep. Yes. Okay, great. See you. No. See you later.
On which continent is Japan located? Okay. The my is what which is the largest country of the world? Okay, I have the mind. Mention at least two non independent territories in the world. Inglaterra, Inglaterra, bueno, entonces estas quedamos en, en Alemania, en, en inglés sería Alemania, es Alemania, Suiza, Suecia, eh, Canadá, Finish. Finish, teacher. Um, Are you gone? Um, hello. Oh. No. Finish. Not yet. Okay. In a moment, okay? Okay, thanks.
We are here again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's start with Grisia. Hello, Grisia. Yes, I'm here. Where is Ecuador located, Grisia? Ecuador is located in South America. Ah, okay. South America, good. Okay, Grisia, ask question number two. Any classmates? <laughs> um, let me see. Um, to Elizabeth Rodriguez. Okay. What language are spoken in Singapore? Elizabeth, the question was for you. Neymar, Norway. No, Elizabeth. The are spoken in uh, Singapore. Uh -huh. You have the answer, Elizabeth? Number two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what languages are spoken yes. in Singapore? Uh, English uh, in Singapore is is spoken English, linguist English. Only English? Hello, people. In Anyone English, know? Mandarin, Milai, Tamil, and English. Oh, a lot of languages. Mandarin. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, Elizabeth, ask question number three to another classmate. Okay, just see uh, question number four, how many Country can you name where English is spoken a second language? Okay, who did you ask the question to? Elizabeth, who? Jansi. Oh. Okay. Jansi. Well, Jansi. <laughs> oh. Hi. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the the countries that the second language is English are Norway, Germany, Holland, Denmark, Argentina, Poland, among others. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, Sarah E, ask question number three to another classmate. Okay, John C. Andrea. <laughs> Can you name for countries where French is spoken? Um, um, okay. The main is Mandarin, Tarin, English. Number three. They asked you, she asked you question number three. The, uh, oh, 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 I'm sorry. 
Nancy Sarai, the question is number three because somebody skipped number three. Okay, Jancy Andrea, the question number three is where is most of the world's wheat produced? Okay, in China. Can in you China, make a sentence? The... Can you make a sentence? Okay. Um, wait. The web is most produced in China. Okay. We can use the same questions to, to make the answer, to make the sentence for the answer. We could say most of the world's wheat is produced in China. Most of the world's wheat is produced in China. Okay, now Jancy Andrea ask question number five to another classmate. Okay, or number four. Number five. Question okay. number five. Four. La cual nos ha preguntado. Or number four. No, yes, yeah, uh, I was responding already. Better. Number five, please. Okay. And you, Lisa Guerra. Um, can you name four countries where French is spoken? Yes, French is spoken in Canada, France, Haiti, and Belgium. Okay, okay. Continue, Julissa, with question number six. Another classmate. Yes. Um, Luis Madrid. Hello. Can you name three countries that are governed by a prime minister? Yes. Um, three countries that are governed by a prime mystery, mystery, ministers, I'm sorry, are England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wallis. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now Luis, because the exercise said that you had to add three more questions, okay? okay. I want you to ask one of your questions to another classmate. Now we are using your questions, people. Uh, where is Philippine located? To? To Ernesto. Okay, Ernesto. Did you hear the question? Yes. Okay. Me, let me check. <laughs> San Google. San Google. <laughs> Come on, take a guess. And you were in a travel agency, you, you need to know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Philippines are lo is located in Asia. Is that correct, Luis? Yes. Yes, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, Ernesto, choose another victim. I mean, another uh, volunteer and ask <laughs> your question. Let me check. Guadalupe Dimas. Okay, Guadalupe. And the question is? <laughs> Where is the most of the world coffee produced? Coffee. 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 Ah, coffee. Yeah, coffee. Okay, let's see. Uh, um, 
and the most uh, worlds uh, of uh, coffee produced is Brazil. Brazil, is that correct? Yes, it's okay. correct. Most? Thank you, Ernesto. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, well, Lupe, it's your turn. Okay, let me see. Julissa Guerra. Julissa so, already participated. Let's work with someone else. Okay. Thanks. Sandra Cruz. Okay, Sandra, are you there? Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. She's not responding. Yeah, she's not responding. Okay, another one? Yeah, please. Okay. Let me see. Marcelo? Okay. Marcelo, are you there? Not responding. Marcelo, Marcelo? Hello? <gasps> ah, Marcelo is there, okay. Okay. Your question. Uh, what, what currency is used in Portugal? Uh, I don't know, but I think that... Um, Make a guess. Uh, peso, maybe. Peso? Is peso used in Portugal? Yes or no? Only say yes or no. 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 Okay. Who knows? Anybody knows what currency is used in Portugal? Nobody knows? What? Euro. Euro? Wow, definitely Euro must be. Yeah. Lisboa. Lisboa is the currency? Yes, Lisboa. Yes, ah, Lisboa. Okay. confirm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, people. Well, there are a lot of things to <laughs> ask, but we don't have time to keep working with that. So try to practice making complete sentences in, with the answers. Okay, uh, using the passive voice, the passive. All right. Um, let's work on this. The idea is that you choose one country and using information like this, location, population, language, religion, industries, agricultural products. You have to prepare a presentation or a composition like this, a short composition about any country that you choose. Okay. Let's read this example. This is a model. But because the idea is that you don't um, you don't have to say the name of the country. You only mention the information and the others need to uh, guess what country are you talking about. For example, this small country is located in Asia. It has a population of around 3 million. English, Malay, Chinese, and Tamil are spoken. The population is made up of Buddhists, Muslims, Taoists, Christians, and Hindus. What country is this? Do you have any idea? Um, oh, I think it's not enough. Thailand? I don't know, but I don't know. 
English mother. I think uh, for the language is Singapore. Yeah, yeah, Singapore. yeah, I remember that somebody mentioned these four languages in Singapore. Okay, so try to make it a little bit easier because this is kind of difficult with other countries more known. So I will send you again to working groups and as a group, prepare a short paragraph about any country. Okay, where you mention some of these features or these facts, location, population, language, religion, industry, agricultural products, for example, or other things. You can use different information. So the idea is that as a group, you are going to read the paragraph and the others uh, have to guess what country are you talking about, okay? So is this activity, activity 12, this is what you are going to do. So let me form, the, oh, I think we can use the same groups. Right. Okay, go back to your groups, please, and work on that next Teacher, I don't have group. Okay, yeah. Okay, there you have the invitation. And you serve it, there you have a invitation too. And Julio, your classmates are waiting for you. Teacher, would you sing as the group because the internet is not good? Okay. Please. Lisa Red, I already sent you an invitation. Join a group. Yeah. 
भी सबैद टीचर You hear me, Alisa? No, I have Elisa. problem the signal. My internet is bad. I'm talking to you and you cannot hear me. Yes, teacher, I agree. My connection is unstable.
Hello. Did you finish, people? Hello. I almost finished. <laughs> Popular products, the way table industry size in the agriculture, the principal product is uh -huh. rice. What is rice? Oh, rice, okay, rice. Oh, mm -hmm. oh the rice. I don't know why, but when they search. Uh, cultural products of this country. I just <laughs> found like woodblock. Igual si yo fuera jefe, pues si ganas bien, ¿qué te cuesta soltar ahí un par de dolores como? Oh, did you finish? Yes. Yes. We are already finished. Okay. That language is strange from now on. What's it, my home, my brother? Francés dice también. Haitiano sí, y francés. Pueden poner si, si quieren también. Eh, wrote in the chat, I think. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, third, which second language is English. Yep. That's the third one. And, and the population? The population. Okay, mm, the most important produce.
Okay, people, I hope you finish the activity. And tomorrow we are going to use your paragraph to practice, okay? So it is time to stop today. So, okay, teacher. You, you, if you could prepare your text or like in you know, PowerPoint, that would be great. If not, no problem. We are going to use it tomorrow, okay? Okay. Night and see you tomorrow. Take care. See you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye, bye. teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye.